On the 8th of April, the EU organized a seminar in Ramallah to present and discuss the results of an evaluation report looking at the EU's cooperation with Palestine and the Palestinian people from 2008 until 2013. So we are very proud that uh, we have this evaluation which gives us uh, food for thought and uh, again consolidated the transparency and the accountability of the European Union in the way is act at the different level political policy and cooperation. This is, was a long process, it lasted one year and we, uh, we manage all the different steps and we try to involve uh, different stakeholders to make this evaluation more participative. The report notes numerous achievements that include sustaining welfare for Palestinians, preserving the functioning of the institutions of the Palestinian Authority, fostering stability, improving infrastructure and preventing fiscal and economic collapse of the Palestinian Authority. We've had a really good opportunity to share the conclusions, the preliminary conclusions of the report with Palestinian partners, with international partners here in Ramallah, in the West Bank, but also in Gaza. And that's a very important stage in the process. So the report is not yet finished, but it's certainly coming into its final stages. I think it's a very helpful report. Um, of course, it recognizes some of the key contributions that the EU has made, particularly to promoting the welfare and protecting the welfare of Palestinians and helping institution building within our overall commitment to a two-state solution for the uh, Palestinian-Israeli conflict. The report usefully touches on a number of specific challenges for the EU in its cooperation with Palestine. Some of the intended results and outcomes from the financial and other cooperation could not be achieved without addressing what we call these constraints. And the constraints include the restrictions on, on movement, which is a, a very major constraint, the access to, to resources in Area C, whether it's land or water, and also various issues of division and fragmentation within the Palestinian community. We indicated that without really addressing those, which are fundamentally political, those are not issues in the view of the evaluation which are addressed with uh, amounts of money. This is not a financial issue, but it's rather a political issue. Representative from the European Union, EU member states, the Palestinian Authority, international organization and civil society attended the seminar and provided fruitful feedback. There needs to be an understanding that regardless of how much development support and funds and investment is given to Palestine and Palestinian government, without the end to the Israeli occupation, there can be no sustainable development. The report concludes that despite the many achievements of the European Union, Palestinian cooperation until today, the paradigm has now reached its limits. It provides a number of recommendations for the way forward. A two-state solution in the sense of the establishment of an independent, democratic, viable and contiguous state of Palestine is still not with us. Not enough has been done to address the two main obstacles to the achievement of these goals. First and foremost, the policies of Israel as occupying power in Palestine and on the Palestinian side and to a lesser extent, the deep divisions, both physical and political, that exist between the West Bank and the Gaza Strip.